Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about new amp speakers, DAC, and cables. It's kind of uh, our way of relating to customers and clients how to calculate the cost of treatment versus the resolution benefit. So it's kind of a way to quantify and qualify room resolution, you know, in more layman's terms. Sure, we can speak of technicalities, we can talk about this, that, or the other, but the bottom line is, what does that mean to us quickly in our minds as a reference? So walk you through some of the steps we've learned over the year. Each piece of gear, um, we're going we're gonna to start with a paradigm where we, we're going to use the familiar, you know, amp speakers, DACs, cables. We've all got new amps, new speakers, DACs, cables. We know the percentage of improvement each one can make, especially those of us like me that have been doing this forever, I think, you know. I don't know how many DACs I've owned, probably 30 in my lifetime. I had one of the first ones that came out. So, you know, it's been a long road, a long journey, but each piece of gear has a percentage improvement. We all know that. We all know that with, with our gear. So room treatment, same percentage increase as you break it down. And then the synergy of, of both the gear and the room we'll talk about, because that's critical after everything's treated. Low frequency, what do we want? Good attack and decay, rate and level of absorption. People that use competitors' products always claim to, uh, you know, uh, are upset because the products that they're, they have in their rooms still leave a lot of energy in the room, so they don't have a real strong attack and decay rate. you got to have that with low frequency energy. That's why each one of our products weighs 230 pounds. You need that mass you know, to stop all that energy. And, you, and there's just no way around it. You can't do it with a box filled with building insulation. You get a little bit, but not enough. It's all about enough to get the proper attack and decay rates. Definition separation, same as mids and highs. Our, our lows in our room are 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's the same as mid-range frequencies. I mean, you, you can screen out all the mids and hear, hear just the lows, and the definition is, is the same. Resolution's the same. And you, you know, that's it's a big claim. Think about it. But that's how powerful our stuff is. So mids and highs, harmonic tail, all must be able to live and die on its own volition. Get the room out of the way. Have enough distance so that middle and high frequency wavelength can travel. Usually high frequency, not an issue. Mid sometimes. Okay. Time signature of reflections. You got to manage the time signature of reflections especially with direct versus reflected energy in, in these two channel rigs. Mixing, listening, doesn't matter, it's two channels. You have the direct sound from the speaker and you have the reflected sound from the room. It's a balancing act between reflected and direct and you gotta get that right. And rate and level is the only way to do it. There's a synergy, like we talked about, when you get the gear new, two or three of those pieces at once. Same thing in room acoustics. When you treat the low end first, you, you know the mids and highs are next. You just know it. You buy a new amplifier, new speakers, you know you're going to get new cables and a DAC because, you know, the DACs, the technology improves a lot. I don't know how much anymore. I think they've kind of hit their peak. So, but there's a synergy. Now, I had one customer. He goes, Dennis, you're selling it short. I said, well, I'm trying not to sell anything. I'm trying to explain. He said, no. Getting a whole new electronic front end to your room, he says, it's way more than that because it's really that times two, maybe three, he said, because the gear has really good resolution and our rooms have horrible resolution. So when you make a 70, 80, 90 percent in mastering room improvement in resolution where there's only 10 and 20 percent problems remaining acoustically, he goes, it's unbelievable. It's way more than a new system. It's way more than two systems, he said. So, you know, try to get an, an idea of what that means in terms of resolution. So that's how we kind of qualify and quantify all that. And we've got some people that are going to do some videos on that shortly. So stay tuned for that. New amps, speakers, DAC cables, new gear, new electronics. Now let's get a new room. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.